Hello and welcome to my review of Ryan and Rouse, the Rattling Twins. Can you see them? Can you see them there? Let me let me zoom in. Hang on, hang on. Can you see them yet? Can you see them? Yep, there they are. They're just there, both of them. <laughs> These two Rattling Twins, which I mistakenly thought were squats um, <laughs> when I first saw pictures of them. They are two of the 44 miniatures found in the Blackstone Fortress game, which is a board game for between one and five players. It will cost you £95 and as of December 2018, it's the only way of getting these two models. I think they're really cute, kind of like hobbits, but sci-fi. They've got big feet, big hairy feet, and I want to see more Rattlings. I think Rattlings uh, should have their own army uh, with little tanks and everything. That would be pretty awesome, but who knows? So the models themselves, Ryan is the guy with the sniper rifle and Rouse is the guy with the stub pistol and demolition charge. So this is Ryan. Hopefully you can see him. He's got his uh, binoculars and then an another um, scope. He's got one round there. Maybe that's all he needs. Um, I don't know about the range of this, you know, to be honest. Maybe it's the same range of a, as a last pistol. We'll find out in the rules in a moment. Uh, he's got some kind of like little toothpick, uh, space marine toothpick, and then some kind of water pistol, and um, some drumsticks. He's even got a little fridge look. He must get hungry. And some pouches and things. So that's Ryan, funky little unit. And then this is Rouse uh, with the demolition charge. He's looking at it. Where is the demolition charge? Who knows? Um, maybe he's already placed it. It looks like that's an, I say anti-tank personnel mind. It's more of a anti-mobility scooter mine uh, by the, looking by the size of it. Um, but then he's got this grappling hook uh, gun, which means he can just up, up and away. Sorry, did you want that in slow motion? Just like that. Um, so he's no longer vertically challenged. He's evolved from drumsticks to no longer vertically challenged. Excellent evolution there. Um, by the use of this grappling hook. He is living the dream. I really like both of these models. Let's show you some size comparisons. This is how big they are next to an Orc Big Mech. I'll just zoom out a little bit. As you can see, um, you know, the, the Big Mech, uh, you, you can't really fit it in the shot um, because these guys are so small. But I just thought I'd, I'd show you that. Um, I thought that size comparison would be useful. I want to do another size comparison with them next to a Las gun, which is just here. Um, so now you get the the feel of just how small these guys are. Um, they're absolutely tiny, even compared to a Las gun. Now, of course, I'm completely joking with you guys. Um, this is a Space Marine, as you can see. Space Marine probably going to trip over them, uh, in and an Intercessor, <laughs> and then the Chaos Lord. So yeah, these guys are tiny, um, but I thought I'd have a bit of fun with that. Okay, so this is my part of the review where I'll go through the rules. You can use them in Warhammer 40,000 in eighth edition. Uh, so if you wanna use these space hobbits in your games, uh, they count as an elite choice. Their power points cost of a two and a points cost of 35, which means they're, what, 17 and a half points each. Their stat line, this is the best stat line in the world, so Listen in, movement of six inches, weapon skill five plus, ballistic skill two plus, strength, toughness, and wounds are all two. One massive attack, I think it's a headbutt to the groin. Leadership of six and a save of six plus. Now, now don't those numbers just sound like honey to your ears? Beautiful stat lines. They've got two stat lines because they are individuals, but they're both the same stat lines. The unit contains two models, Ryan and Rouse. Ryan's armed with a sniper rifle and stub pistol. Stub pistol is probably better than a sniper rifle. And Rouse is armed with a stub pistol and demolition charge. Only one of this unit can be included in your army. So the sniper rifle, believe it or not, that Super Soaker 5000 has a range of 36 inches. It's a heavy one, strength four, AP zero, but a damage of one. A model firing this weapon can target an enemy character, even if they are not the closest enemy unit. If you roll a wound of a six plus for the weapon, it inflicts a mortal wound on the target in addition to its normal damage. Can you believe it? Super Soakers now dish out mortal wounds. I can't believe it. The stub pistol is a nine inch pistol one weapon. Strength is four, which is better than a flashlight. AP zero and damage of one. 
demolition charge is six inches, grenade D6, strength is eight, AP minus three, damage D3, and the weapon can only be fired once per battle. So even if you added both of these guys' strength together, it'd still be half of the demolition charge that one of them's holding. Scary. Abilities, there's a lot of abilities, so take note. Find the best spot. Instead of deploying Rhine and Rouse normally, you can wait until both armies are fully deployed and then place them anywhere on the battlefield that is more than 18 inches away from any enemy models. If both players have units with abilities like this, they should roll off and the winner chooses who will set up their units first. That's pretty good. Uh, you've got to deploy them 18 inches away though, but it's probably for the best because they're going to get squished. They're going to get targeted. Everybody loves killing rattlings. Shoot sharp and scalper. Immediately after making a shooting attack with Rhine or Rouse, other than firing Overwatch, that model can move as if it were the movement phase, though it cannot advance as part of this move. That's pretty good. So they can shoot and then move. Naturally stealthy. If Rhine and Rouse are receiving the benefit of cover, add two to their saving rolls instead of one. So you've got a four plus cover save. Going to be two plus saving here, guys, which will help with their toughness two and their two wounds. You go high, I'll go low. The first time this unit is set up on the battlefield, both models must be placed in unit coherency with each other. From that point onwards, each operates independently and is treated as a separate unit. Hmm, that's okay. Grappling hook. When moving with Rouse, do not count any vertical distance he moves against the total he can move that turn. Moving vertically is free for this model. That's pretty cool. So he can technically grapple up to the top of a Warlord Titan. But then he's screwed because he doesn't actually have a sniper rifle. All he has is a 9 inch pistol and a demolition charge. And I can tell you for a fact that that stub pistol ain't going to be able to hit anything on the floor of the Titan. The Rattling Twins. You can reroll failed hit and wound rolls when shooting with Ryan's sniper rifle if the target is also visible to Rouse. That's quite cool. Especially the uh, wound um, side of things because it's only a strength 4 weapon. So it's nice that you can re-roll uh, wounds um, just because his uh, friend is um, nearby. Keywords, Imperium, Astra Militarum, Militarum Auxilia, Character Infantry Rattling Rhine, Character Infantry Rattling Rouse. So there you go, that's uh, Rhine and Rouse, the Rattling Twins. I think they're really cool little models, um, so cute. And I would, like I say, I'd love to see a little rattling army. Um, I reckon it would be right up people's streets. Uh, hobbits for 40k. Sci-fi hobbits, as I like to call them. Much like we have wolves in space and elves in space and orcs in space. <laughs> I think they would be a great addition to uh, the 41st millennium. Let's make it happen. Put all your comments on Facebook to Games Workshop about them. We want rattlings or squats, which just be dwarfs in space. What do you guys think of these models? And if you found any of my jokes even slightly humorous, please finger blast that like button. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Frodo protects.